guys. So the Romanian deadlift or the RDL is an excellent exercise to target the hamstrings, so the back of your leg, also the glutes and a little bit of the upper body as well. So it's one of the most kind of complicated ones to get. There's a lot of things to think about, but once you've nailed it, that's it stuck. Okay, so taking your dumbbells or your bar, whatever you're using, you want your starts hip width apart. What we're thinking about doing is hinging at the hips. So most people want to kind of squat down and bend their knees. That's not what we're going to do, okay? If you do like that, you're not going to feel it in your hamstrings. So we're more sticking the bum out. Bring the dumbbells down to just below the knees. If you're pushing your hips right back, you shouldn't really be able to go too much further. And you should really feel that stretch down the back of the legs. Notice how my back's staying straight. So I'm not slouching over, but I'm also not hyperextending. Just nice neutral back, looking straight ahead, feel the stretch. On the way back up, squeeze those glutes and let them do the work as well. Okay, so tip that I always give my clients is if you seem legally blonde, think of a bend and snap. So nice control on the way down squeeze on the way back up. If you're not feeling it down the back of your legs, that is an indication that you're probably bending the knees a little bit too much. If you're getting back pain, again, that could be an indication either that you're slouching or if it's kind of aching in your lower back, that you're hyperextending a little bit too much. Okay, so the next exercise that I get asked about quite a lot is the bent over row. So this is targeting the back, a little bit of the biceps as well. Again, if it's done wrong, you might feel some pain in your back. So again, grab your dumbbells or you can use a bar. It's a similar starting position to your Romanian deadlifts. So pushing those hips back, keeping the back nice and straight, looking straight ahead, but you're wanting to bring the weight up to your chest. Okay, so see how I'm keeping my elbows in? Keep it nice and straight, control it down. So you want the rest of your body to be staying nice and still, so we're not like swinging about, using our body weight to pull the weight up. Once you come down, shoulders back, core nice and tight, and you're just rowing up. Keeping that form nice and strict. It's common as people kind of get tired, that they kind of slide forward, or they end up standing up straight. So just make sure that you're staying over. Okay, so we're taking it back to basics a little bit with this one. We're going to move on to the squat. Um, again, this is something that can be done wrong quite a bit, and you know you may not even realise. So I'm just going to take you through the correct form. You want your stance slightly wider than hip width apart. You can use different stances to target different areas, but we're just going to stick with kind of regular stance today. So slightly wider than hip width apart, toes turned out slightly, that's going to keep your knees pointing out and help them from kind of turning in. Keeping that core tight and just thinking about pushing the hips back and sitting down. So always imagining that you're sitting down on an imaginary stool behind you. Now, something that I see a lot is people kind of sticking their bum out and then leaning forward. Now, that's going to hurt your back, especially if you do have a bar on top of you and you kind of come forward you're going to struggle to get back up. So I said this in, I think it was my legs, bones and tongues video, but imagine that you're a puppet and someone's almost kind of pulling you up with the string. So core's nice and tight. Don't rush it. Again, this is more if you have a bar on your back and you're unracking it. I see a lot of people kind of unrack and then what I call slut dropping down. <laughs> so just take your time, set up, big breath, core nice and tight and then you're just pushing those hips back, staying nice and upright. Making sure that we're not coming forward. If you are really struggling with your knees and you find that they're kind of knocking in, um, there's a few reasons that could be. One of the most common ones is that you could have weak hip abductors. Um, if you are struggling with that, feel free to drop me a message or comment down below and I can do some 
videos maybe on hip abductor exercises etc okay so the last exercise that i'm going to cover today is the shoulder press um if you think that i missed any out or if there's any specific exercises that you want me to go over again please comment down below or drop me a message on instagram just let me know and i'll be more than happy to cover that in the next video so Again, this is, I'd say, the last exercise that I get asked about the most. Some people just kind of get confused with the position, etc. So you can do the seated with your back flat against the bench. You can also do them standing. So I'm just going to do them standing today for the purpose of the video. So dumbbells, lots of people kind of want to go this way. Do you want to hold them like so? And see how I'm in a nice right angle. My arms are parallel with the ground, so that's what you want. And then you're just pushing straight up and controlling it down. So we're not kind of dropping back down here. Just keep it nice and controlled, pushing straight up. But you also do want to make sure that you are, see how I'm in like a nice straight line? So again, something that's quite common is people kind of pushing out the way like so. You want to think arms in line with those ears, nice and controlled up and controlling it back down, okay? Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. As I said before, if there's any specific exercises that you want me to cover that I haven't, please comment down below, let me know, drop me a message on Instagram, whatever, um, and I'll be more than happy to cover them for you. If you have enjoyed this video or any of my others, please smash a big thumbs up 